Um, yesterday we did kind of, we tried 1 through 30, correct? Yeah, guys. So where are we at? Who has a question? Hello. Yes, sir, Julian. All right, so let's take a look at question number eight. All right, let me go ahead and bring it down, okay, out of the way. All right, here we go. All right, now, you with me on this, right? All right, everybody, this is a nice little fraction, so let's see what you got. All right, so I'm distributing. So 18 is equal to 9 tenths x minus 9 tenths. Are you good with that? Now I add 9 tenths to both sides. Agreed? So if I add 9 tenths to both sides, now, does everybody see that 18? is 180 over 10. So when I add that, you should be able to say pretty confidently that's 189 over 10 is equal to 9 tenths x. Remember, these are the types of things I'm trying to help you with your ERBs and your fractions. So if you're not sure about that, speak up. Is everybody good with me getting 189 over 10? Good. All right, now how do I fix the fraction yes sir good job multiply by the reciprocal so this is 10 over 9 10 over 9 what happens to the tens they cancel now you should be able to quickly tell me what 189 divided by 9 is now without much thought now 21 right 9 goes into 18 9 goes into 9 all right, so x is equal to 21. Everybody good with that? Somebody else. Yes, sir. All right, so let me try to find 25. All right, let's look right up here. 25. Now I can distribute the 1.5, correct? So if I do that, I end up with 1.5D plus. All right. Now you're just going to have to multiply 3.5 times 1.5. Yeah, 35 times 15. All right. Now, the other thing, look up here, guys. Look, 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 look. Everybody look up because... Here's where I want to try to teach you that I think fractions are better. Please look up so I can try to show you something. All right, look up. Because I, I, I don't feel like multiplying 35 times 15, even though it's not that big of a deal. All right, look up so I can show you how it's easier if you know your fractions. I'm going to start this over real quick. I think everybody should know that 1.5 is the same as 3 over 2. Can we agree with that? And I also think you should know that... Uh, 3.5 is the same as 7 over 2. Does that make sense? Right? Come on now. Don't act that way. 7 divided by 2. Come on, Sebastian. You can figure that out if you're not sure. 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. All right? Now, why is that easier? Because I think multiplying by the fractions are easier. Max, I'm not sure what you're doing, man. So distributing 3 over 2, 3 over 2D plus 21 over 4. Does everybody see how that's easier? Right? Hopefully you see that. All right. Now, again, let's just go ahead and keep it as a fraction. So look up, please. 2.4 is the same as 24 over 10. Anybody have any issue with that? Everybody agree? Mm -hmm. And so now, if I want, I could reduce that to negative 12 over 5. 
one out. We're practicing our fractions. You good? All right. Now, what's the matter? I reduced 24 over 10 by 2. 12 divided by 2, I mean 24 divided by 2 is 12, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. See this right here? Reduce that by 2. That's 2.4. Twenty four over ten, you don't know that's two point four? Oh yeah, that would be oh. Right? Oh. All right. Now uh I'm going to subtract twenty one fourths from both sides. I'm gonna have to Bless you. Minus 21 fourths. So make sure you're putting that down. Now let's look at the fraction there. What's the common denominator with 4 and 5? 20. Is everybody good? So let's look at that. Here's 20. So I have to multiply the first fraction by what? Four, thank you. So that'd be negative 48. Multiply the second fraction by what? Five. So that would be negative 105. Anybody have any issues with that? Five times 21 is 105. Sebastian? All we did was we found a common denominator. I multiply this by 4 over 4. Multiply this by 5 over 5. That's all I did which gave me a common denominator of 20. All right? So now I end up with 3 over 2D is equal to negative 153 over 20. This one's actually the one that's harder than I thought. Is there a way to do that like with a decimal? You can do it with a decimal. How would you do it with a decimal? All right, now... Multiplying by the reciprocal here, I'm going to multiply by what? Two thirds. Two thirds. Are they with me on this? Now these cancel. So now we just have to look at the fraction. So D is equal to, that's a 1 and that's a 10. 3 goes into 153. 3 goes 51 times. So your answer is negative 51 over 10. And if you needed to, you could say that's the same as negative 5.1. Um, how, how would you do it? Do you know how to multiply by decimals? Do you know how to divide decimals? That's how you do it. Okay. All right. Now let's look at the fraction. Multiply by what? 5 over 5. Multiply by 5 over 5. So if you wanted to do it by doing the decimals, you would distribute the 1.5. All right, now some of you might say, well, I'd probably prefer to maybe do decimals because I'm going to have to do all that fraction work. Yeah, I do. Right, that's perfectly fine. All right. Caroline, what? All right, let's look at 24. All right, so I think I can squeeze 24 in here for you. All right, let's take a look at this now. All right, so now I'm going to distribute a negative one-third, right? When I distribute a negative one-third, I get negative one-third P minus one-third equals one-sixth. You agree with that? Now I have to add one-third to both sides. So here we go. Add one-third, add one-third. So one third, we got to get a common denominator, so that's two six. Do you agree with that? So now what's two six plus one sixth? 
which is reduces to. Yay. So there you go. So now we have negative one third p is equal to one half. Yeah. That's why we're reviewing. All right, now multiply by the reciprocal. And the reciprocal is negative three. So p is equal to negative three over two. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to try to do the next group, which is, I think what I said today was 30 through, um, hold on. It was, thir yeah, 31 to 42. So we don't have that much to do. All right. So let's try to get it done. All right. And we're going to continue working with our fractions and decimals and trying to make you stronger. So when you're taking your ERBs, you're going to be in shape. Wait. 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 No, no, no. It's actually later down. Yeah. Well, we're just starting the algebra program now. We finished up all the pre-algebra. We're just going back now and reviewing before I start pulling out of the algebra one book. All right? Here we go. 31. Let's read it now. Let's do the word problem here. It says the hexagon shown is a regular hexagon, so each side has the same length. The perimeter of the hexagon is 20.4. Everybody hear me? 20.4. So how many sides does the hexagon have? So that means that there are 6 x minus 1.2. Does everybody agree with that? That would be the perimeter, right? Come on, guys. You guys are flat today. Come on. Look up. Tell me if you understand that or not. Does everybody understand there are 6 sides. All sides are the same. So if I multiply x minus 1.2 times 6, that will give me the perimeter. And now the perimeter, it says, is what? 20.4. 20.4. Thank you very much. 20.4. Yeah. You with me on this? All right. Now, what I want to do now is I, I, today I want to kind of show you a little shortcut instead of distributing 6 here. Eyes up now. All right, I wanted to review with you the distributive property, so I made you distribute. Somebody said something, I think, in here this week or yesterday. They said something. Instead of distributing, I could actually do what? No, 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 no. What? Yes. The reason why is because, look, this right here, I want to highlight this for you. Make sure you're hearing me. All right? This right here means six times that. Is everybody with me? Mm -hmm. Now, the quickest way, actually, is to go ahead and just do what first this time? Divide by 6. All right. You can actually divide by 6. Everybody hear me on this? This is like a shortcut, so I want you to take a good note of this. All right. Now, why does it save us enough time? A lot of time. Because when you divide by 6, they cancel, and you're just left with what? X minus 1.2. Now, we're not using a calculator, so I have to do 20.4 divided by 6. So 6 goes into 20 how many times? Three times, right? So I put a 3 down. How many are left over? So I put a 2 in the top corner. So 6 goes into 24 how many times? Four times. But don't forget the what? The decimal. So 3.4. All right. Now, what do I do from there? Add 1.2. Good job. Add 1.2. Add 1.2. So x is equal to what? x is equal to 4.6. All right. That wasn't hard. All right. Let's look again now. Let's look at um, let's look at 32. Here we go. Everybody look at 32 now. Let's do a couple word problems. It says, each minute, Carly's computer uploads 1.8 megabytes of data and, downlo and downloads uh, D megabytes of data. Over a period of 15 minutes, the computer uploads 
and downloads a total of 136.5 megabytes. How many megabytes of data does Carly's computer download each minute? What? Um, so when um, um, 1.8 times, um, times 10 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 times 
No whining. Seven points four. Do the division. Seven point Seven four. four. Wow. Seven point it's four. Seven. Oh, yeah. That's not what I got. Seven point three. No guessing. Quit guessing. Seven point Do the division. Seven point five. Oh, you're driving me now. Vivian. Seven point three. 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 Seven point Thank you. <laughs> Seven point three. Okay, All right, boys. I got that one right. I've got a lot of problems left. All right. So the answer was 7.3. All right. Close is not good enough. All right. Here we go. We got, we have nine problems left. Nine problems. All right, everybody work out question number 34 real quick. All right, let me show you just in case. All right, four parentheses, x minus five plus three equals 31. So again, come on, we're going, yeah, we're on number 34. I said skip the other one. All right? Wow. Somebody was already has an answer. Pretty impressive. Ooh, somebody else. Calculator. Hold a second. What's wrong with this? What is that? I don't think this is right. Oh, I got it. I got it. All right. Here we go. Look, guys, we got to do better on this. All right. Distributing the four. We get 4x minus 20 Yay. plus 3 okay. equals 31. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh, right. oh, I thought it was equals oh. 3. Now, we're grouping these two things together. Yeah, I did that. All right, so we have 4x minus 17 equals 31. I Then we're adding 17 to both sides. 17 is 31. Oh, so if you got 12, actually, you're in pretty good shape for solving equations. Yes, I'm in pretty good shape. How'd you get 17? Uh, negative 20 plus 3. Negative 20 plus 3. Oh, I didn't do plus 3. All right. Here we go. Now, I'm on question. That was 34. I'm going to switch things up. We're going to 37 now. Everybody do 37 real quick. Hey, hey. All right, let's see if you can do 40 or 37. All right. You're distributing a 4.1. Here, let me show you. <laughs>
Stop running your mouth. I mean it. You, I'm talking to. I mean it. All right. Distributing a 4.1. When I distribute a 4.1, you have 4.1 m. Now, 4.1 times 4 should be pretty mental math for you. All right. Should be 16.4. Minus 2.1 M equals 6. All right. Now what we're doing is we're combining, again, 4.1 minus 2.1. What's 4.1 minus 2.1? 2. Just 2. All right. Girls, y'all with me? All right. So I have 2 M plus 16.4 equals 6. Everybody good with that? Now what? Now subtract 16.4, subtract 16.4. Now again, here's where you have to be careful, please. All right, think about it. Is the answer going to be positive or negative? Negative. Negative. All right, so if you have 16.4, all right, and you're subtracting, it's going to be 16.4 minus 6, which is what? Negative 10.4. Yes, you should be able to see that's negative 10.4. Anybody have any questions with that? And then we have 2m. Oh. So, oh, so that has to be 5.2. And then you divide. Negative, negative 5. Negative. So m is equal to negative 5.2. All right, m is negative 5.2. Now, here we go. I want 40 now. All right, I want everybody to try 40. Now, I want to. Here, listen, Connor, you come up here and sit right now. Max, you come up here and sit. Let's go right now. Uh, you're, you're driving me crazy today. Max, right now. All right, I already had us talk with you once. You, your mom's coming in on Monday. All right, now let's take a look at 40, see if I can get some more work done now. Now, everybody pay attention here. Look up, please. Look up. I don't want you to distribute the three-fourths. I want you to listen. I want to show you something easier. All right? What holds the three-fourths and the parentheses together? What operation? Multiplication. So how can I get rid of a fraction? No. Multiply by the reciprocal. Thank you. You're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply this by what? Four-thirds. I'm going to multiply the 18 by four-thirds. <coughs> All right, so I'm going to put a four-thirds right here. Everybody see that? Now, come on, you're going to learn something today if you pay attention. I don't have to distribute the three-fourths. Now, the reason why I can multiply by the reciprocals is because what happens to the four-thirds here and the three-fourths? They cross out. So I'm left with 2w minus 1 equals. Now, everybody should be able to tell me what's four-thirds times 18. And what's that? You should always divide first. You should always divide first. So what I mean by that is I need to take 18, divide it by 3. What's 18 divided by 3? 6. And then you multiply that by 4. What's 6 times? Yes. So that was equal to 24. So what I was trying to tell you was, you're right, 72 divided by 3. But 72 divided by 3 is what? 24. You understand what I'm saying, Will? Oh. Right, so I'm also trying to show you this, Will. Pay attention. You hearing me? 
I'm asking you to divide first. Yeah, so the numbers get smaller, it's easier to manage. You hear me? Right? So we do 18 divided by 3, and that's what? 6. And then 6 times 4 is 24. Does it matter if you do 4 times 18 and then times 3? No, you get the same answer. But it's a lot easier to do the division first than it is to do the multiplication first. You agreeing with me? All right. So now let's finish this off. How do I solve this? Say it. <coughs> Add 1. Add 1. So I have 25 is equal to 2w. So w is equal to 12.5. Oh. Or I prefer that you write it as a fraction, which is just 25 over 2. All right? 25 over 2. All right, I'm going to do one more with you, and then you have the rest. Okay. All right? I'm going to do question 42 with you. All right, so let's take a look at 42. <coughs> All right, now what was my recommendation? Instead of distributing a fraction, we could multiply by the what? We could definitely multiply by the reciprocal. All right, so let me look at that. Let me get this out of the way so we can see it better. All right, so we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. And what is the reciprocal? 3 over 2. Come on, I need everybody to work it because we're working fractions now. And fractions we always need review on. So I multiply and I get what? 3 over 2. Anybody have any issues with that? 3 over 2 and 3 over 2. Everybody with me? So now, these cross out, these cross out. Everybody with me? And so now I have 3p minus 5 equals. Now, what happens to the 4 and the 2? Yes. And then the 3 and the 9. Very good, girl. So the fraction that you have left is what? Two-thirds. All right? Is two-thirds. You may have any issues with that. Now, again, like I said, you, 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 it's a good review. All right? It's a good review. All right? Now what do I have to do? Add five. All right, thank you. So I'm going to add five. We're going to add five. So 3P is equal to. Now, Here's where I need you to get a common denominator. Five is how many thirds? Five is how many thirds? Fifteen thirds. Do I agree with me? No, there you go. Thank you very much. So that becomes fifteen over three. Just wait until he gets back. Fifteen over three plus two thirds is what? Seventeen thirds. Good. All right, now this is why I tell kids to multiply by the reciprocal because I don't want you to divide by 3 even though that's correct. Does everybody agree with me? So we're going to divide by 3 and divide by 3, but that creates a little problem. Do you agree? Because most kids have trouble with complex fractions. So look up here on the board. So 17 thirds divided by 3. Now who remembers how to do a division? Close. Yay, thank you very much. You, you, you know it. All right, you change division to multiplication and do the reciprocal. Thank you. So you should say 17 over 3 times 1 third, which is final answer then would be? 17 over 9. Yes, 17 over 9. So P is equal to 17 over 9. How much more time do we have? Six minutes. Six minutes, thank you. Julian, is that you? Pardon? Did you say how much time we had left, or was that Will? Oh, I think we had five. Well, I think you said you had four or five. Oh. Right? Oh. Just saying things. All class period. All right, let me do another one with you. What number was that? All right, let's do 41. Let's everybody do 41 together. All right? 
Let's see if you're doing better. All right. Yes, good. We're going to multiply by what? Everybody's going to multiply by 5 over 4. Multiply by 5 over 4. These guys cancel. I'm left with 10y minus 15 equals how much? Oh, oh, come on, 25, be strong. Yeah, 25 is the answer. That's what I said it was. I'm always right. That's what I am. All right? You don't make mistakes either. I like that. 25, perfect. Does everybody understand why that's 25? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Right? Because we divide. 20 divided by 4 and then times 5. All right? Now what do I do? You add 15 to both sides. So, 10y equals 40. 40. And then y equals 4. And then y <coughs> equals 4. Brilliant. Does everybody agree that's not that hard, right? It's not that bad. Yes, sir. So, multiplying is equal to 6y. What are you, what are you, where have you been? Oh, I don't know. Okay, so that's what I'm saying, right? Uh, we're supposed to go back and redo the problem now because you've joined us. I have no idea what you're talking about. Go back and listen to the tape. All right. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. All right. Not a bad job. All right. Again, it's a nice little review of fractions. Yesterday we always distributed. Today I tried to show you a shortcut where you don't have to distribute. You can actually do the division first. If you do the division first, hopefully you see how that can save you a bunch of time. All right. You can do better. All right. You're playing around too much recently. 